Entrepreneurs yeah. in Fuego Season 2. We are interviewing amazing entrepreneurs, one digital footprint at a time. I had to memorize that, by the way. <laughs> at some point, I didn't, I was like a cheat sheet and everything else. With me, I have Paul Breslow. Insurance and benefits. How you doing, Paul? Very good, thank you. You look nervous, man. Yeah, it a gets little bit. I'll relax about, as we go. Don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah. I'll I tell you one thing, though. I mean, you, you write these articles, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I write articles. But that's, Dude, that's you like about 20 years ago. It is, man. yeah, like, oh, yeah. Man. It should be illegal. You have to update your picture. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta put some new, yeah, yeah, new, new pictures, pictures man. It's like, yeah. it's like, you know, dating on Facebook, you yeah. know, or, or one of those dating, you know, everybody's <laughs> got their, you know, uh, pictures of 20 exactly. years ago. Everybody yeah. looks so young. You, know, you meet him and like, uh, can I, I think I talked to your daughter. Yeah. You know, that's it. Except. I wrote the first articles 12 years ago. Ah, so some of what? these articles go way back. There you go. Yeah. How you doing, man? I've written like 45 articles. 45 articles? Yeah. And now, this is, this is all about insurance and benefits. Insurance and benefits, yeah. What, what is specifically in your business? It's uh, health insurance and benefits for employer groups. Okay. And also includes dental insurance, life insurance, disability insurance, vision. So, so you go it's to the a benefit side. Explain to me. You go to a company and then you right. analyze what they're giving their employees right. and then you say, well, Maybe I can supplement, I can do yes. much better than... Yes, the current person. What makes you say that you do things better? Well, I have a whole history person. of um, employment in the insurance industry. Okay. So I worked for Aetna for 15 years. Okay. And then I worked for here in company? the Valley. Aetna's a good company, yes, right. absolutely. And then here in the Valley, I worked for Samaritan Health Plan. Uh, do you remember them or no? Samaritan Health Plan? Uh, was, negative. Uh, yeah, 20 years ago. They were the local hospital, the former Banner, Banner oh, Hospitals. Okay. Are, they, used yeah, to yeah. be Samaritan. Yep, yep. Okay, sure. And then it became Health Partners Health Plan, and then it became United Healthcare. So after 20 plus years in the business, at age 47 or 8, I started my own agency. Some people would. I guess there's there's no age where you cannot start a business. Right. What made you decide at age 48 to, all right, I've worked for Ed and I've worked for all these companies yeah. for, you know, you've given a great part of your life, the very productive part of it, yeah. you've given it to, to these people. Now you decide you want to do this thing for yourself. Right. Well, a couple of different things. One is um, I think it's difficult for people as you age to maintain really good jobs in the market. So. By starting your own business, then you're in control yourself of your income and your destiny. So that was one. And then, um, like April, the person who was here before, my father was an agent. And it was in a very rural com community in Connecticut. And I started working with him. And then my mother, it was a small agency, small community, said, uh, you have to go out and prove yourself. Right. And someday start your own agency instead of taking over this small agency inside oh, of okay. yeah, so. Kind of my whole career, I wanted to start my own agency. But things were good, sales were going, you know, you're riding a wave, and so I waited until the appropriate time. And so when, when you did, uh, what was the hardest part, though, in, in, in making that transition? Because, you know, this show is about entrepreneurship, that yeah. journey. I mean, you could be in, in any type of industry, yeah. but the insurance industry is a very difficult industry to. Well, well each, each entrepreneur has their own route. So some people at age 18 will start yep. their own business and never work anywhere. But the hard part when you're married and you have a big mortgage and you have a couple kids and you start your own business from scratch, then your it's income It's a giant goes, leap. It's a giant leap. It's like jumping off the Grand Canyon. And so that's why my respects, man, because right. now here you are, 37, you're like, yeah. I am going to take that giant no, 47. leap. 47. Oh, 47. <laughs> yeah. 47. And then you take that giant yeah. leap. It's, what, aside from the family concerns, of course, and, and all the obligations that you already had, as, as an entrepreneur, what was uh, then your biggest challenge? Well, even if you're going in a related industry, it's different. So while I had been calling on agents and um, I knew the industry inside and out, I hadn't been an agent. And so you mm. need, um, I think the best thing that I did is I found a mentor who brought me into his agency in a, in a fashion that I could own my own business from day one. And so that he guided me along and uh, I helped him by helping with clients and splitting business and so forth. That is an interesting point yeah. because do you see yourself now then perhaps mentoring somebody y y to start their own business? Or to start absolutely. Their I'm my, you know, at my age now I'm bringing in young people and splitting businesses with them. And then in the other room here, I have some uh, young entrepreneurs themselves, and I've always been into automation and how automation can improve operations and stuff. And so 
yeah. I'm using some young programmers and designers to develop websites and everything. You go into a business uh, because somebody recommends, right. I guess, and that's, right. that's how you get your foot in the door. E exactly. How difficult, and it, it always, this, this baffles me, because yeah. the insurance industry is, it's, you're buying something that <laughs> you don't need until you need it. Right. That's, that's a hard sell. Right. That's a hard sell. How do you, what's your marketing, what is your strategy when you go in, into a particular business? Well, as I mentioned in one of the articles, um, it, it's just knowledge and coming up with a puzzle, solving the puzzle for that business. Because you can go into one business and their whole thing is they want to spend as little money as possible. And then the very next business, yeah. like April's business, they want to treat their people well, give them good benefits, take the worry away. And those are the, the businesses I prefer to have, but I serve all businesses. So <laughs> you're, you're kind of categorizing some of the businesses, right? Some of the yeah. business owners, hey, look, right. I just want the cheapest thing. I just want to comply, right. basically. Right. Be in compliance with whatever it is required of right. me. Not necessarily thinking that it's going to be the best for my employees. Right. I just don't want to be in trouble. Right. And then there's this other uh, business owner that you're saying that wants the best for the employee. Right. Uh, and I would imagine also being uh, cost uh, conscious as well. Absolutely. Yes. And that's where you that's where you provide. Yes, and then I quote myself. So I write an article on things that I'm talking about all the time. Yep. So this particular article is called "Solving Business Puzzles." And so now you're so going to I, I go you, in and I get to quote myself. You, you, yeah, <laughs> you quote yeah. yourself. Yeah, man. yeah, out of these articles, <laughs> you, you, the 45 articles I wrote. Yeah, the 45 absolutely. articles that's got your your <laughs> the thoughts your high school picture in. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah, you yeah. Just quote yourself. <laughs> and then you quote yourself. All yeah. right, so, so read a quote. Like, read a quote. It's just any quote, right there. Well, just on this uh, subject, benefit benefit philosophy, right. the final recommendation to work with your health and benefits agent to match your benefit philosophy, what you're trying to accomplish as a business or employer group. So I, in my opinion, after dealing, I deal with hundreds of entrepreneurial businesses right. over the last 16 years. Yeah. So I go in there and I meet the people and I talk to them and I hold enrollment meetings and all that. And um, the ones who treat the business, their employees the best, also seem to have the most success. And they're the most long-standing businesses. I see a correlation. You know, Paul, and, and I was yeah. just going to say that because I don't think that there is anybody more qualified, not a consultant that goes right. in and asks all the obvious questions, right? but somebody from the outside that sees what the employer is giving or right. offering uh, their employees where you see the correlation. These Absolutely. people are successful because they're keeping their employees right. very happy. Right, they, ha they have to hire fewer employees and, and they don't have turnover, and so they get the continuity. Absolutely. But Obamacare, also known as the Affordable Care Act, kind yes. of threw everything up in the air. Yes. So it made it very interesting where do we go uh, in with the last few years. Uh, what's, I think what's going to happen? With I it? think um, Arizona, every every business and every individual and every family is going to have challenges continuing in the in the future with Obamacare. How do you Affordable Care Act? The Affordable Care. How do you expand your business? Well, right now. How do you grow it from here? Right now, um, I could retire if I wanted to. That's nice. So right now, my whole thing is to bring in young people and to uh, work with young people on either developing their own agencies or um, programming uh, websites and so forth. And then I like solving business problems. So automation has changed our whole, all industries have changed now with right. automation. Uh, so I like doing that. And I just like solving Related, the business problem. I solving love that. the business problem yeah, in relationship to insurance? Or in relationship to insurance, my expertise. Your expertise. So all my education and experience and advanced degrees and everything. All insurance and benefits and applying this all to getting that job done better. Look at you, man. <laughs> you're going to write another article, but you're going to yeah. update, you're gonna have to update <laughs> the picture, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you're yeah. going to have to. This is, this is fascinating. I mean, Look, no disrespect for the for the uh, for the industry for right. the, for the insurance industry. It's something like I said again that we have to have, right? And, and it's one of those you don't need it now until you need it yeah. type of product. But I think that what you are doing, which is providing that mentorship for somebody else to come in right. and pretty much take the the mantle over, you know, and just take it over right. for, for for the next uh, generation of insurance agents. I think that's remarkable. Now. Insurance got um, tainted a little bit. Not tainted is the wrong word, but uh, insurance should be for a sudden and unforeseen event. Yep. That's a financial catastrophe. 
but getting into health insurance, well, everybody needs a routine physical and all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of a big um, confusing situation between the doctors, the hospitals, the insurance companies. And I don't think our nation can afford all the costs that we're putting into these industries right now. And so it's, uh, there's some unique solutions out there. That's the other thing I love is the new and unique solutions. So I find them and bring them to my clients. Paul yeah. Breslow, the insurance <laughs> king of Arizona, <laughs> man. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank, thank you. So you. Much. appreciate it, Paul. Thank and you. Thank you for this great information, yeah. man. So we'll be looking out for you. I appreciate and it. And for your mentorees. <laughs> With that, we're out.